How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. Like I told you guys after the Temple game, from this point on, as long as I do these videos here on YouTube, I might just wait until the day after the game to do the recap. Uh, so far, early on, it's working out pretty well, so if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know what I mean? But aside from that, let's get right into this one. Great day yesterday for the Irish. Big win, great performance. This Irish fan right here couldn't be any more proud. And I'll tell you guys one thing. Do not let that 42-30 to final score fool you. We dominated Pitt in this one. Just like Georgia Tech, you know, they get a couple of scores in garbage time. But I'll get to that at the end of this video. But I'll tell you guys one thing. These are the times where I love being wrong and I love being proven wrong. See, I told you guys in the preview that I thought this game was going to be really close, uh, keeping us Irish fans on the verge of cardiac arrest all game, and I even said that the final score was going to be 27-20. to Well, when I'm proven wrong, I love it. I love seeing the Irish uh, surpass my expectations for any given game, and can't say it enough, I love being proven wrong in times like these. But breaking, breaking the game down a little bit, it was all an all-around great team performance. Offensively and defensively, we were clicking on all cylinders. We got off to a quick start. Everyone was making plays. But starting off on the offensive side of things, Deshaun Kaiser, great day out of him. Uh, about 260 yards passing, five touchdown passes, in addition to one rushing. I mean, holy cow. To a, For him to account for six touchdowns, just un freaking real um, he's hands down my MVP for this game. And what I love seeing out of him is that he continues to improve to just to get better and better every game. I mean, and that all falls on coaching right there. Um, you know, Brian Kelly, you know, like him or hate him, he's a damn good football coach. I mean, I know people find, you know, stupid reasons to, dis to dislike him, but he's a damn good football coach and he knows what he's doing out there. And you're seeing that on that field every Saturday. Um, but anyway, continuing right along, receiving Will Fuller, another huge day out of him. Uh, three plays in, he hauls in a long touchdown pass. I forget how long it was, but I think it was at least 50 yards, I know that. But he finishes the day with 150 yards receiving, three touchdowns, yet again in a game in his home state of Pennsylvania. One of our hands down, our biggest offensive weapon, and he too keeps getting better and better making plays, making big catches, what more can you ask out of him? Rushing. This was the only, well, not I'm not going to say the only, but uh, one of the few negative spots of the game. We lost C.J. Procise to injury. Ah, you guys thought I was going to talk about our performance. Nope. Uh, losing C.J. hurt. It sucked. But the good news is, from what I've been reading, it sounds like he's only going through uh, concussion tests. Uh, dinged up his shoulder a little bit, but he's day-to-day. -day. He should be able to return to practice soon and be ready for next week's game against Wake Forest. So that's good news. Um, losing him would really suck. However, and this goes back to Brian Kelly's ability as a coach, Josh Adams, big day out of him. Uh, I forget, I think he had about 140 yards rushing. And this is, and this is a, a, a true freshman backup. Just goes to show, you know, Kelly knows how to coach and he knows how to recruit. I mean, these he brings in guys that are talented and damn near ready to go from the start. So, but Josh Adams, big contributions out of him, and even he had one score as well. But just, ah, uh, unbelievable performance by that offense. Everybody was, you know, firing out of the firing out of the shoot right away. I loved seeing it. Defensively, great improvement out of them. Um, Getting pressure on the quarterback, made a couple of nice big plays. Um, we even broke up a trick play too, which impressed me. I love seeing that. Sniff, they were able to sniff it out, and uh, I think it was like a, some sort of weird flea flicker type play. But we were ready for it. Sniffed it out and made the stop. Um, Jalen Smith, he was all over the place, uh, uh, running guys down, making plays. Um, I loved it. I loved. I loved our performance. We did a great job. Uh, this pass coverage was was great too. Everyone was stepping up and do, and uh, doing their part. Um, you know, no, we didn't really get burned. Not, I mean, not maybe a couple of times, but really, it wasn't. We really uh, did a great job shutting down Tyler Boyd. The only true 
negative thing that I saw, and I alluded to this at the start of the video, was when I said, don't let that 42-30 to 30, uh, final score fool you guys. Gave up a couple of touchdowns in garbage time. One of those being a, uh, a miscommunication in the defensive backfield. Um, I don't know what Kavari Russell was doing, uh, but they let left Boyd wide open for a long touchdown pass, and then Brandon Wimbush comes in, comes in and fumbles the ball, and the pit returns it for a touchdown. Um, I get that mistakes are going to happen, so I'm not, you know, calling for anybody's head on that or anything. But these are the things we gotta we gotta clean up. I mean, anybody who watched the game knows that we dominated Pitt from start to finish. But let's show that on the scoreboard. Don't give them any free points or free scores. You know, we're a better team than that. Uh, so fit, we got to finish games. That's the stuff that drive that can drive a coach or uh, just an ordinary fan crazy. Finish games, guys. But you know, at this point, it doesn't matter. We came out of there with a big win um, over a, a six and two opponent. Well, now a six and three opponent uh, that's been playing some pretty decent football all season long. We now stand at eight and one on the season, and you know, Tuesday, Tuesday, this Tuesday night we will uh, get a chance to see where all if that work paid off or not. Because I know, well, obviously we knew that uh, getting into the top four with a victory would be a good, a good. Uh, a good uh, possibility because Alabama and LSU were going to play one another out this season, or this season, this weekend, excuse me. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I think our chances of breaking the top four on Tuesday night look pretty good. So with that said, guys, that's all I have for you in this one. This is Andy Sean 45 signing off. God bless, and as always, go Irish, baby! <laughs>